அழகிய வடிவீனன் இவன் யாரு can we explore every aspect of the life without being untouched and getting attached to all the compulsive activities we say i don't want to drink but somewhere we are afraid that we will be addicted to it my question is how can we explore every aspect of life without being untouched see uh, nobody says i want to drink some people drink some people don't some people who drink may drink for the pleasure of it some people who drink may drink because they want to drown something within themselves some people drink because everybody is drinking it's an evolutionary <laughs> it's an evolutionary issue you know when we were monkeys if one did this everybody did this and some people don't drink because they think it's morally wrong some people don't drink because they're afraid their parents and society what they will say some people don't drink because they found something better within themselves they found something far better with than a drink so it never arose in their mind that they have to drink because they're doing wonderfully by themselves they don't need any chemical help from outside so these are different ways If you want to explore life because you can only explore life you cannot explore art you cannot explore spirituality you cannot explore something you can only explore life yes well you may look at it from a certain perspective somebody may look at it in an artistic way in an aesthetic way in a musical way in a spiritual way but essentially we are exploring life even if you are uh, looking at inanimate things you're only exploring life because nothing happens outside of you everything that happens happens only within you isn't it so the only thing that you're experiencing is life you may think this is color you may think this is sound you may think this is something else no in your experience you're only experiencing the way different things imprint upon your life that's the only way you can experience it there is no other means of experience for you so essentially you're only exploring life because nothing else you have access to yes right now i may think i'm looking at this person but no i am only looking at the image that happens in my mind isn't it so right now if you touch somebody next to you think you're experiencing that person's hand no you only experience the sensations in your hand isn't it so so your entire experience of life is absolutely within you that means you are capable of experiencing only this one life so is it a trap that you can only experience this no if you experience this then everything becomes a possibility because see when it comes to body we clearly know this is my body that's your body 100% this is my mind that's your mind 100% isn't it but when it comes to life there is no such thing as your life and my life this is a living cosmos you just captured a little bit of it how much you captured how much life have you gathered within you will determine what is the scope and scale of your life so whether you call it art whether you call it music whether you call it spiritual process or whatever the nature of activity activity is a means to open up your borders of individuality so that something larger than yourself happens to you something larger than what you think as myself happens to you in your life this is the purpose of love this is the purpose of art this is the purpose of sexuality this is the purpose of spiritual process essentially that something larger than myself must happen to me because only if this happens i feel trapped inside this yes or no you interpret this in many different ways but essentially what you are looking for is you want to somehow go beyond the limitations of your own boundaries the word yoga you heard of the word yoga 
The word yoga means people think <laughs> twisting and turning is not yoga. The word yoga means union. Union means if you sit here, there is you and the universe. If you sit here tightly fixed with your boundaries, it is you versus the universe. You versus universe is a stupid competition. Hello? Those of you who are like this all the time, it's an absolutely idiotic competition between you and the universe. If you have any sense, you don't compete with the universe because you're a small speck in this universe. How do you compete? This is what individuality means. Individuality means you are head-on with the universe. Yoga means you obliterated the boundaries of your individuality. The distinction between what is you and what is the universe has gone down considerably. If you sit here, what is you and what is ev everything else is about the same in your experience. If this happens to you, then you will see there is no such thing as my life and your life. There is just one big life happening. This experience is needed. A tremendous experience is needed within you if you want to create something fantastic. If you want to create something brilliant, something unique, something truly of some significance, you need an experience. It's important that there is an experience of exuberance, joy, profoundness. But right now in the world, a whole lot of people think only in misery you can be profound. Because it is true that for most people, their pain is the most profound experience of their life. But if we just stick a pin into you, just a pin, not a sword, just a pin, the pain goes to the core, isn't it? Hello? Just a little pin, one inch pin, if I stick it, <laughs> so deep. <laughs> so pain goes… becomes profound much more easily. So a lot of people think pain is the source of profoundness. This has to change. To know profoundness of joy, to know profoundness of love, to know profoundness of exuberance and intensity of life, it takes something more. அடியும் முடியும் அறிய முடியான் அழகிய வடிவினன் இவன் யாரு அகிலம் அதிரும் குடியும் உடையான் அழகிய வடிவினன் இவன் யாரு இரவும் பகலும் சுழலும் உலகும் இசைந்திட அசைந்திடும் இவன் யாரு அழையும் வெயிலும் குளிரும் பணியும் இசைந்திட அசைந்திடும் இவன் யாரு